Hello and welcome to Ventura College for tonight's third round playoff matchup featuring the Ventura College Pirates taking on the Santa Monica College Corsairs. Jeff Stoinoff, Mike Zapata with you from Ventura. And uh, Michael, tonight an awful lot on the line and the margins are razor thin. This is the third matchup between these two teams on the season. Both of the previous matchups went to Ventura College, but both of the previous matchups went the full five sets. Hard to beat a team three times in a season. Uh, Santa Monica obviously has had a couple of pretty good looks at Ventura's, taking them to the limit. Uh, but Ventura's found a way to win. They certainly found a way to win on Tuesday in emphatic fashion. 3-0 sweep versus Bakersfield, one of their rivals uh, for many years. And, well, it's going to be interesting to see how Ventura comes out. Maybe some early uh, early jitters, but you expect them to hold serve at at home, but easier said than done. Yeah, Brad Lyons has wanted passion and emotion down the stretch from his team as they pursue a place in the eight-team championship tournament that takes place next week. They will certainly need it tonight. Talk about two teams that got here in vastly different ways. You mentioned uh, the dominating performance a week ago, or I should say a few days ago back on Tuesday night for Ventura against Bakersfield College, a very, very strong team and the Pirates dispatch them in straight sets. Meanwhile, talk about going the distance for Santa Monica. They go the full five sets against the seven-seed Cypress College. They were up two sets to none. Then it was two sets all. Then Santa Monica was down 10-1 and 11-2 in the fifth set before coming back to take the fifth set, 17-15, in an all-timer, at least from a Santa Monica standpoint. They were certainly happy with the result. Certainly a team that displayed a ton of resilience uh, you, you go up 2-0, you go to 5, you're down 11-2, and you pull out the win. I mean, that is huge, especially in a playoff setting on the road, and they're going to have a tall order tonight. The Pirates look prime for a postseason run, and, well, hey, we might see them out sec next week. Yeah, you go back to that fifth set, and for those that didn't see it, at 9-2, Santa Monica loses back-to-back -back points on a miscommunication uh, on the attack that meant that they couldn't even muster an attack to fall behind 10-2. Then they fall behind 11-2 on a net cord that falls in. How at that point you don't think maybe this isn't our night is beyond me, but they rallied, uh, got something going, and came all the way back. So resilience uh, certainly was the case for Santa Monica on Tuesday night. Well, Ventura men, the football team, won earlier today at Fullerton, and uh, they have punched their ticket to next weekend. Might the women do the same here in the nightcap uh, versus Santa Monica? Coming up, the Corsairs and the Pirates here on SoCalCollegeSports.com. Stay tuned, everybody.
Crown Plaza Ventura Beach starting lineups. Maella Riva, Pryor Boric, Natalie Fernandez, Sophia Odell, Mia Paulson, Jalen Fierro, and Myla Nixa for Santa Monica. And for Ventura, Autumn Rogelio, Brianna Morrison, Kylie Ibbotson, McKenna Schamloffel, Ashley Johnson, Talia Behrens, and Kayla Murdoch. So no changes for either team, as you would certainly expect. And uh, Mike, uh, this is familiar territory for both these teams. Both teams advanced as far as round three a year ago before their season uh, came to a close for Santa Monica. It was a loss at Moore Park to the three-seed Moore Park Raiders who punched their ticket to the championship. And, of course, Pirate fans well aware that the Pirates just one step away as the one seed a year ago. They lose two-time player of the year, Nevada Knowles, uh, to a COVID diagnosis uh, that day for their championship match and uh, went down in four to uh, a tremendous Grossmont team that punched their ticket and went to the championship. So both teams trying to erase uh, this round from a year ago and make it all the way to the championships, which, of course, uh, are next week, and we'll have it for you on SoCal College Sports. Yeah, speaking of, you can watch this broadcast on the big screen. You have uh, something with a YouTube app. You have a Roku. You have a, you have a Fire Stick. You have an Apple TV. Go to YouTube, SoCal College Sports 1. We are live. You can put us up on the big screen. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Let them know we are live here this evening and also will be archived on demand uh, for viewing after the fact. It'll be there forever, or at least as long as YouTube is there. Probably going to be there a while. That's the solemn promise that we make. <laughs> well, Jeff, we saw how good Rogelio was at the libero position on Tuesday. She's been a stud all year. And... On the outside, I'd like to see Ibbotson really set the tone. We know what Murdoch's going to bring, but Ibbotson was a little touch and go. And some trouble right off the bat. Jalen Fierro, along with Sophia Odell, second and third in the state in service aces. So two of the top three on the same team. Unsurprisingly, the Corsairs, the top team in service aces per set. The Pirates are going to have to return serve here tonight. Setter dump from Fierro. Great job from Ibbotson with the up. Free ball for the Pirates. Bump set from Johnson. First swing for Murdoch and gets it down. Murdoch, who's gone over 20 kills, really pretty much every match on the season, but in both the previous matchups, she led the way offensively for the Pirates. I think the Pirates get away with one there. That looked out. I thought from up here. Yeah, but I can't call it if it's right in front of my face. It's fair. Certainly not going to trust that. Rogelio on serve. They'll go to the middle. Nixa's dink, but the block and down the roof from Nixa. Gets a little help from no, Mia that, Paulson. That was on the Santa Monica side, this okay. private ball. Okay. Just on the tape, but comes down on the Pirates side. So, Pirates take the early 2-1 lead. The overpass into the net, no chance for Fierro. Rogelio on a serve run, it's 3-1. Rogelio, in addition to being the leader in digs per set in the south, an outstanding season on serve. She has 38 Serve aces that one long. Breaks the run, pulls the Corsairs back within one. 3-2, and Natalie Fernandez, the leading attacker for the Corsairs on the season. Ready to serve. Murdoch with the pass. Johnson, they'll go middle with Morrison. Dug out by Fernandez. Boric goes to the dink. Too strong for Murdoch. Rogelio keeps it alive. And now a whistle comes in. Call going to go against Ventura. They're going to get her for an illegal touch. On the set. Or was it on Rogelio on the dig? Yeah, it was on the dig. I think she touched it twice was yep. the call. Murdoch with the dink. Fierro there. 
Odo with the set this time. Great dig. What a play by Shamlawful to keep it alive. Murdoch with another swing. Tries to go cross court into the net. So right away, Murdoch with a couple of swings going to the cross court. That time catches the net. 4-3, Santa Monica on top. Fernandez led the way in that big run in the fifth set against Cyprus. Odo with the dig back set. Looking for Boric. Was out. Just wide for Boric as she tries to dink. Working around the block. Oh. Tied at four. I mentioned Fernandez after they were down 11 2. Fernandez had four kills in the big comeback. Leading the way, eventually 17-15. Rogelio can't come up with it off the swing from Paulson. Paulson listed as a setter, but like she's one of those good size setters. You can see uh, we don't have uh, the heights listed on the roster, but I'm thinking pretty close to six feet. Probably and then some. Yeah, for Mia Paulson, and what an advantage that can be is the serve into the net. Tied at five, Paulson during that run. Had an enormous play going with the setter dump tied at 13 in that run to give the Corsairs their first match point at 14-13. It was a long point, and Paulson with the heady play went to the setter dump to perfection. Five all. Clean pass. Bork with a big swing. Rogelio lays out but can't keep it in play. That's a great quick set. Going to the far side, single block, middle late to get over, and it's easy money for Santa Monica. They take the lead at 6-5. to five. Yeah, Boric coming off eight kills to go along with eight digs at Cyprus Tuesday, 6-5. More so than the Pirates, Santa Monica. It was a touch, no? Looking for the touch. They're not going to get the call. Schaumwaffel sends it long, 7-5, just to finish the point. The Corsairs will spread it around no offensively touch. a little more than the Pirates, who work primarily through Murdoch, and then uh, you'll see a lot of Ibbotson and Schaumwaffel, and, of course, the middle attack. But the Corsairs boast six different players with 100 kills on the season. Schaumwaffel coming up from the back row, goes for the push, and it's long, 8-5. I'm going to go back to the previous play. No, there, there definitely was not a touch. Yeah, and that time on the push, not a touch. And Santa Monica now with a three-point lead. Working across from Zara Stanton, one of the returners from a season ago. This is a reloaded Santa Monica team that has just four sophomores. So it is a young squad, nonetheless, That's playing nice. here in round three. They'll try Ibbotson off the block. Pirates staying alive. Johnson with the up, and Ibbotson gives up the free ball. It's a great over by Ibbotson. Stanton with the tip. I think that was a net. lift. Or did that not get over? It didn't get over, but the whistle looked like it came in before. Yeah, I, I think that was an illegal touch. Either way, it's yeah. going to the Pirates. 8-6. First appearance for Jocelyn Montoya. Defensive specialist will come on to serve. Odo with the pass. Riva has that one partially blocked. Another free ball for the Corsairs. They'll try the middle attack and a missed time with Riva. Cannot hang in the air. No swing and it's 8-7. Pirates back within one. That's just a miscommunication there. Setter, hitter. Yeah, Paulson with the set. Riva, the other principal returner from a season ago. They try the back set, but Boric can't get to it. It was a poor set Yep, going back. No chance for Boric. Tied at eight. And Montoya will continue on serve. Another good pass from Odell. Stant with her first swing. Murdoch with the dig, but over. 
Pirates with a chance. Schaumlaufel, about five feet back, partial whiff, 9-8. Schaumlaufel struggling early, and she was a key component in the win versus Bakersfield on Tuesday and throughout much of the season. Yeah, five aces, but also chipped in with four kills, six digs, but her performance on serve, and in fact, for the Pirates overall, the performance on serve, so critical. Overpass for Schaumlaufel. Chance for the Corsairs. They will get the kill and go back up two. Fernandez. Getting into the scorebook with her first kill, 10-8. Ventura, Ventura looks a little out of sorts right now. And they're, they're losing the serve pass battle. Murdoch handles that one. They'll try the middle with Barron's off the tape, but still alive. Paulson looking for Stanton. Murdoch positioned well. Shamloff will try again. Odell with the dig. Fernandez to the dink. Shamloff will there. Pirates scrambling. Barron's just has to hook it over. Back to Fernandez and the block for Barron's. Sliding over with Ibbotson. Big block for the Pirates on a point they needed. 10-9. And Kylie Ibbotson on serve. Going to float long. Too much juice. Well, it's hard not to be keyed up. Maella Riva. There is Kylie Ibbotson. Returning sophomore for the Pirates. Another good pass from Murdoch. Barron's on the slide, able Touch. to tool the block. So Talia Barron's has done such a good job of that middle blocker spot with Brianna Morrison for the Pirates here in 2023. I see such a presence at 6 4 in the middle, freshman middle blocker. And she barely has to get up for that and make a move. Oh, that looked like a lift. Stanton off the block of Barron's. Uh, that, that clearly looked like an illegal touch. Watch in slow motion here. You see there, uh, not, not a ton of movement on that ball. Almost looked like she cradled it and then shoved off. So Jalen Fierro back on serve. Mentioned the numbers on Fierro. Second in the state. Murdoch sent back. Rogelio scrambling. Chance for the Corsairs. Good set, and Fernandez hammers it down. Fierro will continue on serve. 72 aces for Fierro on serve. And she'll pick There's one up one. there. Look at the movement here, Jeff, with speed. Well, in the first two matchups between these two teams, the Pirates were able to handle serve relatively well, and they will need to tonight, even handling serve relatively well in the first two matchups. They still went five sets. Timeout on the floor. Santa Monica with the early lead. We're just underway. Corsairs and Pirates here on the VC Sports Network. The start you're looking for, if you're the Corsairs, they've got the 14-10 lead with Jalen Fierro to continue on serve. Goes to the floater. 
Murdoch gets it back and is able to tool the block. And get Murdoch Nixa. going in a big way. Well, it's a good adjustment for Murdoch as well. We've seen her go cross court on the first couple of swings. That time able to play it off the block. More direct approach gets the kill. Back within three, Rogelio to serve. Boric able to handle it now from the 10-foot line, but the call comes in before Paulson can swing the double touch. Pirates pick up the point, back within two. See the movement on the ball there. That's usually the dead giveaway. Well, Helio heads up the line. That's a terrific job. Morrison keeps it alive. Boric on the pass. And now, miscommunication, Odell and Fernandez, and it drops. The Pirates will pick up a cheap point there, and they're back within one. Bit of a gift. And 14, the Pirates will certainly 13. take it with a slow start. Autumn Rogelio finishing up her stellar career here at Ventura this season. Off the line again, Boric handles it well. Paulson just tries to push, but it's sent back. Still alive for the Corsairs. Rogelio lays out. Ibbotson from beyond the 10-foot line, but finds a great spot. Wow. Odo scrambling. Free ball for the Pirates. Morrison in the middle. Still alive. Johnson. Shamlawful forced to push it over. Off the block for Paulson. Ibbotson at the 10-foot line. Blocked by Nixa. And down. Nixa and Fernandez over on that far side. And Santa Monica, in addition to the strength on serve. She's got to tool that block. Fourth in the 3C2A in total blocks as a team. Up the line and wide. Pirates stay within one. Well, I talked about the Corsairs leading the South in aces. They also lead in serve errors, but I imagine that goes with the territory when you're aggressive on serve as they are. Another good pass from Odell. Rogelio gets a hand on it, but can't keep it alive. And You know, Mike, it's 16-14, but I think there's been a difference here. I think the Corsairs have been decidedly more in system. They're handling serve better right now. Well, yeah, just too many free balls coming from the Ventura side, and Ventura has to do a better job of just getting swings across to the other side. Odo will serve. And some trouble on the Pirates right away. I, I, out of system and another free ball. They'll go to the middle. It's off. And it's long for Riva. And that is a... Bullet dodged for the Pirates, who, as you say, Michael, gave up another free ball and another chance for the Corsairs. Nearly a touch. Murdoch on serve. Off the tape and just over the net cord works for the Pirates. They have come from four down to tie it up at 16. The love from the tape. They're at the half at Hilmer Lodge, 38-24 in the SCFA semifinal. And why is that important? Well, if Riverside is able to come back, currently down. Morrison gets the kill. Currently down right now as the Pirates take their first lead, I think, of the set. If Riverside beats Mount Sac tonight, Ventura would host next week. Brianna Morrison had a monster performance in the second matchup between these two teams. Seven kills without an error. And she was a star of the match for the Pirates as the Pirates won it in five. And anytime the Pirates can get a couple of big performances to go along with the work of Kayla Murdoch, they are going to be tough to beat. Push from Sean Lawful, Paulson there. Stanton. I don't think he got into over. Into the tape. Pirates grab the lead at 18-17. Christian Camayo over on that Santa Monica sideline. Hasn't used a timeout yet. Might after this one. Montoya on serve. Odo handles it. 
Flat-footed, easy play for Johnson, but the Pirates still scrambling, and Sean Waffle has to give up the free ball. Again, another free ball overpass. Near joust. Sean Waffle angles for the back row. And instead, the call against Santa Monica, net violation, 19-17. This is a 9-3 run for the Pirates. Right here. Up two. Floater from Montoya. Boric with a head of steam just long. 2017, the run continues. And the Corsair is going to take a timeout. Just <laughs> long from Boric. The Pirates lead it 20 to 17. It's the 3 c 2 a Volleyball Playoffs round three. Pirates and Corsairs on the VC Sports Network. Fascinating first set here from Ventura, Michael. The Pirates, by all appearances, have been out of system, have uh, been struggling to get their attack going on any kind of consistent basis, yet here they sit, up 3, 20 to 17, late here in the first set. Talk about persistence. Saw from Santa Monica on Tuesday, the Ventura Pirates not played their best first set, but they're the first team to 20 here in set one. Barons with the block, but it's still alive. They'll try the other side with Boric who was able to tool the block. So Pryor Boric stops the run. Corsair's out of the timeout. Back within two at 20 to 18. I have been very impressed with Sophia Odell yeah. on that back line, the way that she has handled serve so far. Murdoch with a good pass. Ibbotson tries to push it off the block and Barons can't keep that one up. 20 to 19, quick two point run. Corsair's back within one. Meyer Boric will continue on serve. Barons has that one sent back by Stanton. Great reaction from Rogelio. Ibbotson takes a little off. Paulson keeps it alive from the 10-foot line. Fernandez, easy dig for Rogelio. Now Murdoch from the 10-foot line into the tape. A little lucky there. One, or I should say tied at 20. Corsairs have come out of the timeout with three straight. Trouble for Sean Waffle on the pass. She'll get it back. One timer from Ibbotson. 21-20. Great reaction there from Ibbotson. You see the quick ups. And she Ibbotson, puts it down for the lead. Yeah, bounce back after a struggle in the first matchup between these two teams where she had more errors than kills. She came back with 16 kills in the second matchup. Great and dig. dig here. Murdoch, 12 feet back. Corsair scrambling, but Odell set will middle. send it over. Miscommunication on the attack for That's the Pirates. In. Just outside the line, tied at 21. Yeah. I assume, Michael, that that was miscommunication and not a move toward deception with Rogelio, but it almost worked as Rogelio went to the bump how and do you nearly not found the line. How do you not set Barons there? You're in system, you have everything you want, all the options, and you go to a free ball bump? Bridget Robarts, who got the run going and set five on serve yeah. off the bench for the Corsairs. Off the block, overpass kept alive by yeah. Paulson, but the net contact will give the point to the Pirates. 22-21. 
Illegal contact, I think, was the ruling, but the Pirates, either way, the beneficiary of the point. Yeah, See if like Schamloffel can go on a run. Paulson came awfully close to that net, but either way, the Pirates get the point. Schamloffel, who finished it off on serve on Tuesday night for another run. Fernandez on the give and go. It's still up, and Paulson sends it over. Pirates with a chance. Back set. Barron's on the slide. That's what they needed last time. Talia Barron's. And that is her signature move. They love to get Barron's moving to the right on that slide. And she's able to get it between the block. 23-21. The Pirates two points away in set number one here on the VC Sports Network. And a Sham Lawful to serve. Pirates leading at 23-21. Boric with some trouble on the pass. They're out of system. Oh, wow. Off the tape, Rogelio there. Barons back to the slide, able to play it off the block. So Barons putting this team on her back down the stretch. See the touch there. Coming in late, Sham Lawful. Chance to finish it off. Yeah, she wasn't able to muster a jump, but when you're 6'4", you don't need to get too far off the floor. Fernandez forced to go to the dink. Barons, chance for the Pirates. Free ball for Murdoch. Odell able to get down there, but not corral it, and the Pirates close out set number one, 25-21. Bouncing back from at one point a 14-10 deficit to take control down the stretch. After the Corsairs got even at 20, the Pirates close it on a 5-1 run. They are up one set to none with a spot in the championships in the balance here on the VC Sports Network.
Pirates up one set to none. And it's not the ideal start for the Corsairs. And obviously after Tuesday night, they are not going to be overly intimidated at having to battle back uphill. But certainly it raised the stakes in set number two. Pirates staying perfect in the postseason after the three set win on Tuesday night. Corsairs don't want to put themselves in a position where they have to contemplate coming from two sets down. Rohelio will check in to replace Brianna Morrison, so the Pirates will come out with the starting six. Murdoch, Barons, Ashley Johnson in the front row. Ibbotson with Sean Blawful and Autumn Rogelio in the back. Meanwhile, Odell, Nixa, Fierro, Fernandez, Boric, and Paulson. So the Corsairs come back with their starting six. Sean Lawful to serve. Fierro has to retrieve Boric from the 10-foot line. Pirates go up 1-0. Back row attack. And Boric did catch the tape, but the call makes it a moot point. Pirates grab the first point here in set number two. Right back to Boric. Better pass this time from Boric. That sets up Fernandez. Sean Lawful with the dig. Murdoch just has to push, and now the one-timer from Fernandez, and that is a cagey play from Natalie Fernandez. After Murdoch had no choice, oh. Fernandez sees that open floor in the corner you, just over the head of Ibbotson. you got to get a swing on that overpass. Overpass, the joust ball between Nixa and Johnson, and the point going to belong to Santa Monica was that possibly net contact on Ashley Johnson. 2-1. Yep. Jalen Fierro ready to serve. Just wide. Two all with Autumn Rogelio who had a good run on serve early in set number one to give the Pirates an early lead before the Corsairs came back to grab the lead midway through that first set. Pirates eventually taking set number one in a back and forth affair. Looking for the middle for Nixa, denied by Johnson and Morrison. Brianna Morrison up to 67 blocks on the season. And that is not threatening the all-time record here at Ventura College. Which is 95, but it is an interesting number for Morrison. She is just four blocks away from surpassing all-conference middle blocker Katie Mulville from a year ago. Ibbotson dug out by Fierro. Fernandez just inside the 10-foot line, Ibbotson there. All the way across to Murdoch, off the block of Nixa. Four two. That all-time record, Elena Dialba, back in 2003, 95. Nice pull. Oh, thank Rob Hester and the research here at Ventura. Fernandez denied by Murdoch this time. Pirates on an early run. They've got the 5-2 lead as Rogelio will continue on serve. Murdoch starting to heat up on that net. Well, we didn't get much chance to mention it, but she was a stabilizing influence in that first set in the back row. She was one of the players that was able to handle serve well and set the Pirates up well. She continues to develop her all-around game. Trouble on the serve for Rogelio, 6-2. Murdoch on her way to Cal Poly Slow, where she will play both 
indoor and beach volleyball. Brad Lyons been so passionate about developing the beach volleyball program here at Ventura College. And the good it has done for the program overall. Overset, meanwhile, but the Pirates still alive. Murdoch will gather. Odell keeps it alive. Boric has to chase it back. They give up the free ball. Pirates back on the attack. Morrison off the block. Chance for Nixa in the middle. Shamlawful there. Murdoch to the dink. Laying out. It's Fernandez. Corsair still in it. Back to Murdoch in the call. Going to go to Santa Monica. How about this up from Santa Monica? Go back a little ways here. Yeah, breaking the run for Rogelio and getting the serve back for Fernandez. But Fernandez, a sensational up. You see Ventura really celebrated too early there. Bump set from Johnson to Ibbotson from the back row. Nixa able to get a hand on it, but it falls. Point Pirates back up for it, 7-3. Solid swing out of the back row there from Ibbotson. Ventura scores. Fierro looking for Boric into the tape. I think Boric was expecting it. Eight three, and Ashley Johnson, sophomore setter to serve. Fierro has to head out of bounds to get that one. Wow. Rogelio lays out, it's still up, but not over. How about the effort from Rogelio and then Ibbotson, 8-4. And now Odell, who leads oh. the Corsairs in serve aces on the season with 83. Missed opportunity, what a waste there, Rogelio with its Will serve. Up. Sham Lawful uh -oh. tries to push that return, 8-5. And Oda will continue on serve, and let's keep an eye. You have to imagine they're going to go right back at Schaumlaufel here. Was up and down in the win versus Bakersfield in the, in the passing game. Better pass from Schaumlaufel. Murdoch off the block, the one-timer, but did she get the net? She did. Had a golden opportunity. No block in front of her, but couldn't stay off the net. The net contact gives the point to Santa Monica. 8-6. She knew it, too, right away. Odell continues. Long. Good read for the Pirates in that back row, and it's 9-6. So Kayla Murdoch set to serve. She was first team ABCA All-American a year ago as a freshman. And I am going to hasten to wager as she gets the ace herself at 10-6 that she is going to be ABCA first team All-American as a sophomore. And I'll see if I'm right, but hopefully I don't put the jinx on it. They already voted on something like that? You're going to speak it into existence. 10-6. <laughs> Fierro quick set in the middle. And Nick's, I should say, Rivas oh, able to play it off the block. 10-7. So Maya Riva does catch part of the block. 10-7. Mia Paulson will serve. And again, Shamlawful goes for the push on the return and then gets the kill. So Shamlawful gets it back after handling the serve. 11-7. Shamlawful. Steps up to that outside hitter spot with Murdoch moving to the back row and a chance for Schaumlaufel to take a lead on the attack. Gets the job done. 11-7. Jocelyn Montoya will serve. Another good pass from Odell. Heading up the line, it's Boric, and it's just wide from prior Boric. Or was it? I guess that was just long. Wow. 
That's a massive that missed call. Well, Michael, that was neither wide nor long. Wow. 12-7. Tough break for the Corsairs. They'll try that far side again with Boric Johnson with the up. Pirates give up the free ball. Paulson. Partial whiff from Riva, who couldn't quite get all of that. And instead, it's Ibbotson able to tool the block. 13-7. Kylie Ibbotson, who had a solid outing Tuesday night against Bakersfield with six kills against just one error. She has picked up where she's left off. With another solid performance tonight. The Pirates up six, 13-7 in set number two. They lead it one set to none on the BC Sports Network. Pirates with the 13-7 lead in set number two, and the Corsairs still looking for a combo that works here tonight. Appeared to have the Pirates uh, maybe a little back on their heels early, but couldn't fully take advantage of it, and the Pirates seem to have righted the ship late in that first set and carried it on here into set number two. Jocelyn Montoya will continue on serve. Trouble for Odell on the pass, and Stanton from the 10-foot line able to play it off the block and get it down. So the Corsairs out of system, but able to work it to Stanton, who's able to bail him out and get the kill. 13-8, Boric will serve. Bump set from Rogelio Schaumlawful. Denied by Stanton and Riva. 13-9. That's going to be tough for Schaumlaufel just inside that three-meter line to get it by Stanton and Riva, both outstanding blockers on that front line. Nice Murdoch read. lets it go, and it's long. 14-9. Ibbotson will serve. That's a tremendous job by Boric on the pass. And the Corsairs get the kill. Let's take it back as Paulson sets up Stanton. Stanton, who was a major offensive contributor a year ago as a freshman for the Corsairs and returns for her sophomore season and has kept it going. Robarts into the net, 15-10. The error gives the Pirates back the five-point lead. Shamlawful on serve. Paulson has to retreat. And Stanton forced to just push that one to the back row. Murdoch trying to perhaps play that off the block of Stanton, sent it wide, 15-11. No. Too much of an angle. 15-11, Jalen Fierro will serve. Corsairs wanted anybody at the service line right now. Down by four, it's Fierro. So freshman. Out of Downey. Ah. And trouble on the set for Rogelio. That was Johnson. 15, or it was it Johnson, excuse me. It was Rogelio on the pass. And then Johnson with the difficulty on the set. And Fierro 
will continue on serve. Let's watch this from the back camera and how this ball comes in. It's a mean trajectory here, Stoy. Look, look at the movement. And the overpass. And right away a chance for the Corsairs, but it'll come from the back row. Barron's able to send it back, but the Corsairs keep it alive. They'll look for Murdoch. What a big time set from Rogelio in that back row. The bump set all the way across, and you can hardly reach up and place it any better for Murdoch. That's a sensational play for the Pirates who are scrambling. Yeah, Rogelio out of system. Perfect set on the money. Murdoch puts it to sleep. 16-12. Fear with the back set. Fernandez couldn't get all of it. Now Murdoch leans in oh. but is denied by Nixa. What an adjustment. Well, again, this looks like a pretty good spot, but Nixa also in a pretty good spot. That's a big-time block from Nixa, who's coming off a big performance in the win against Cypress with 10 kills Great against just pass. one error. Morrison has that one dug out by Fernandez. And instead, they work it to Paulson, who goes on the attack. So that time, it's the setter Mia Paulson. Who gets the finish? 16-14, here come the Corsairs, they're within two. Natalie Fernandez to serve. Murdoch goes down to get it, but the Pirates have to give it up. Rogelio scrambling, that's a great play from Jalen Fierro who sees that open floor in the corner. And Rogelio can't get there in time, 16-15. Timeout on the floor. Brad Lyons going to burn a timeout here in set number two with the Corsairs back within one on the VC Sports Network. Pirates taking a timeout with the Corsairs on a run here. I think it's a good timeout from Brad Lyons as the Corsairs decidedly picking up some momentum here in the last couple of minutes. Yeah, need a quick side out. And credit to Santa Monica. Like, like, like we saw on Tuesday, a little alligator blood hanging around. Look at a steal set two. They look for Murdoch again. Off a touch, no? Just wide for Murdoch, and now we're tied at 16. This is a 9-3 run for the Corsairs. And the first appearance tonight for Alba Romanos Gracia for the Pirates. And they go right to her. Good pass from Garcia. Leads directly to the Murdoch kill. Pirates back out in front, 17-16. No doubter there. Murdoch rights the ship. So Garcia comes off the bench and gets something going for the Pirates. Nixa with the push. It's off the net. Chance for the Pirates. Murdoch has to lean back, goes to the dink. Back row from the Corsairs looking for the corner. It's just unacceptable. And getting the corner was at Fernandez. And we have seen the Corsairs do that to good effect here tonight head up and seeing the holes in that pirate defense. It's a playoffs, Jeff. Margin for error is thin, and you have a free ball. You have to put it away. You can't get a dink out of Mur Murdoch off of a free ball. It just cannot happen. In the middle, it's Ibbotson, and Ibbotson just wide. 
18-17. And suddenly those balls that were finding the line a few minutes ago starting to find their way outside the lines as the Corsairs continue the run. They're up one. Murdoch goes way down to get that one. Ibbotson off the block. Great swing from Ibbotson. And Boric off the tape and down for a Pirate point tied at 18. Pirates catch a bit of a break there as they have to give up a largely free ball, a fairly weak attack on their first pass, 18-18. Overpass and Ibbotson, not much chance for Fierro as Ibbotson able to redirect. And the Pirates grab a 19-18 lead here in set number two. Great eye there from Ibbotson finding the open hardwood. Back set looking for Paulson. And it looked like Morrison and Schaumlaufel Able to combine on the block, but just wide. Schaumlaufel got the clean block across. It was over, but not down. Tied at 19. Back to Schaumlaufel. Arcs for the back row. Stanton. Schaumlaufel would gather once again, this time able to tool the block. Pirates back up one, 20 to 19. Talia Behrens will come on. Had to settle for the roll shot. Reach back last time, better from Johnson on the set. Sean Loffel rears back, fires away into the block and down. 2019. Pirates up one, Jocelyn Montoya to serve. Odell has to go down low to get that one and nobody there. Paulson can't get there in time. Ace for Montoya, big point for the Pirates, 21-19. And now Santa Monica going to take a timeout. See that one fall off the table from Montoya for the ace. Pirates back up by one. Pirates trying to weather this surge from the Corsairs after they led it by as many as six. Well, first to Corsairs, 20. yeah, came back to take the lead, but now the Pirates have responded and have gone up to at 21 19. First 20 in set one. First 20 in set two here. Four points away from taking the two none lead. Are you trying to bring Lawler's Law to volleyball? Something like that. Dug out by Montoya. Pirates scrambling. Chance for the Corsairs. Looking for Boric, able to tool the block. Corsairs out of the timeout, get the side out. They're back within one. And now Prior Boric to serve. Sean Lawful off on the pass. She handled it well in terms of distance, but Johnson scrambling. Michael has to move about 10 or 15 feet. 21 all. It's so tough to handle 
the serves. And we talked a lot about Odell and Fierro, but it's up and down the Santa Monica roster. Heat from Ibbotson and Odell. Can't keep that one in play, 22-21. Kylie Ibbotson, I think Michael has been the hero of set two so far for the Pirates, trying to bring it home. She'll serve. Paulson with the quick set in the middle. Ibbotson with the dig. Sean Lawful to the dink. What an up from Fernandez once again. Odell. Looking for the back row. Barons might have mistimed it, but elects to go to a dink herself. Off the block, Pirates now lead at 23-21. Hard to say if that was just a pure mistime from Barons, but either way, a great adjustment at the last second. For Talia Barons. Paulson has to retreat, Stanton. Murdoch with the dig. Ibbotson, and Ibbotson with another kill. Twenty-four, twenty-one. set point for the Pirates looking for a two sets to none lead. Stanton, Johnson's there. Sean Lawful moving right and didn't get nearly all of it. Sent that one into the net, 24-22. Still a chance for the Pirates. They'll get Nixa on. Nixa, one of the leaders in blocks for the Corsairs. Looking for Sean Lawful. Fernandez there. Stanton. Murdoch digs it out. Ibbotson to finish. Sent back. Pirates still on the attack. Sean Lawful goes to the left hand. Fernandez. Murdoch again. Well positioned. One more time with Sean Lawful. And gets it in between Robarts and Boric. And Sean Lawful does close it out for the Pirates. 25. 22, they lead it two sets to none. They are one set away from a spot in the championships. You're watching Ventura College Volleyball here on the VC Sports Network.
Grossmont, San Diego Mesa have already punched their ticket with victories tonight. Grossmont over Rio Hondo in straight sets. San Diego Mesa in four over Montana Antonio. And how about this? Orange Coast on the road to Irvine Valley. Last update up 12-2 in the fifth set against the Lasers. Uh, do the Lasers want to get the Corsairs quickly on the phone here? Find out what do you do when you're down 12-2 in the fifth set? Corsairs a little busy. <laughs> they have their own problems here. Uh, down two sets to none. They are going to have to fight all the way back against the Pirates after the Pirates take the first two sets. Up north, Feather River back in the championship. Once again with a straight set win over Lassen. So Feather River back to defend their championship. Pirates hope to join them. One set away. Jalen Fierro will get set number three underway. Sean Lawful with the pass. They'll go to Murdoch. Nixa with the block, but the Pirates still working. Off the touch. Murdoch. That was clearly touched. Yeah, it's going to go to Santa Monica. It went long. Now let's see. We'll have a pretty good look. Well, that's. Okay, that's the one before. Yeah. We'll see this one here. Looked like, again, she nope. shot it over. Nope. Shot it over. That's a good call. And down. Quick start for the Corsairs as they grab the 2 nothing lead. Fierro will continue on serve. Entering the fourth at Mount Sac, Riverside trailing by 7, 45, 38. Hope, hope you had the over. Setter oh. dump from Johnson. Sold it beautifully. What a beauty. So Johnson gets the Pirates on the board here in set number three. Rogelio will serve. Odell. And the Corsairs will have to settle for the back row attack. Oh, wow. Nixa had a shot. And instead, Morrison with the block. It was Johnson, wasn't it? Yeah, Johnson. With okay, the block Ash on the doorstep. Ashley Johnson. That's a great job of anticipating the 50-50 ball. Goes up plays and denies so, it. Yeah, plays so well on that front line. Oh. Fierro with the bump set. Fernandez off the block. He'll set up Murdoch. Goes cross court. Not much chance for Fernandez at close quarters. Murdoch with the kill. Pirates. Grab the 3-2 lead. Better that time out of system on the bump sent from Rogelio after Johnson delivered a pretty good pass. Angle there from Murdoch, huge on the swing. 3-2. And a good return of serve and Nixa able to tool it off the block. Tied at three. Yeah, just not enough penetration there from the block that time for Ventura. That breaks the run on Rogelio serve. Off the tape, but Murdoch goes down to get it. Goes to the push. Morrison keeps it alive. Fierro tries to dump. Murdoch flat-footed. Corsair scrambling, but still alive. Chance in the middle for Morrison. Nixa got a piece. Murdoch, and the block is wide. Yeah, working against Nixa and Paulson. Overpass, one-timer for Morrison. But Fernandez with the dig. Paulson trying for Did the that push, but it looked like net contact, or no. They're going to say touch. that this one got pushed off of a touch. Yeah, that's the right call. Good view of it, tied at four. It's nice when you have that angle. Sophia Odo will serve.
Back to Murdoch and goes to the fastball for Odell and Odell able to get underneath it, but corralling it is something else again. And a decided effort to get Kayla Murdoch into the fold here in set number three, more so than in the first couple sets. She gets the back line. 6-4, Pirates grab the two-point lead. Good I call. Think, but I think the Pirates sensing that they can jump on the back of their leading attacker all season long. See if Kayla Murdoch can de deliver them the last bit of the way. Free ball. To the championship. Ibbotson off the block. Odell anticipates. Borek denied. Ibbotson and Morrison there. Morrison. I'll tell you, Mike, they might have both gotten a hand on that one. I think it was, I think right. I think it was one each. Oh. Murdoch catches the tape. 7-5. Pirates with the two-point lead. Zara Stanton will come in on the front line. As Mia Paulson will serve. Rohelio there. Schaumwaffle just has to send it over. The redirect from Riva. A hard push from Maella Riva. 7 6. Gets the kill. Johnson, Morrison, and Ibbotson in the front line for the Pirates. Murdoch, Rohelio, and Schaumwaffle on the back line. Johnson looking for Ibbotson, coming off the big set number two, and delivers once again off the block of Stanton and Riva. And Ibbotson flashing the whip right now. A big way, a big match. Biggest of the season for the Pirates. 8-6. Riva, Corsairs able to keep it up off the block. That one rolls on the tape and is wide, 9-6. A little bit of a tough break for Myla Riva and the Corsairs. She gets that one over the tape, but it rolls along that top tape and just that much. It's wide. Looking for Stanton. Great up. What a oh. terrific up by Johnson. Barron's flashing some hacky sack skills. Millimeters I think, from magic. On that last one. Looks like she's got some potential there on the kick save. 9-7. But that was a tremendous job by Johnson. Just getting one arm out there. That one dives in front of Murdoch. Rare trouble on serve received for Kayla Murdoch. Look at that ball drop, I and mean, that is a tough serve. And we talk about the serving up and down this roster, and Boric certainly fits in. And now Schaumwaffel has to go well wide for the set. Murdoch fires it into the net. We're all tied at nine. Yeah, prior Boric, 38 aces coming into action oh. here tonight. Gets a piece of Murdoch. So Boric zeroing in and again as Murdoch's trying to let that go, but a little dive a to the out. right. I think he can take a timeout, get the hot server off the, off the line. 10-9. Brad Lyon's going to let his team play, see if they can work themselves out of it. A little overpass, oh. but Johnson able to redirect and Ibbotson able to finish. This is a great play by Ashley Johnson, Michael. Yeah, able to get that set in a position where Ibbotson can do something with it. And man, did she do something with it. 
Tied at 10, overpass now for the Corsairs and a one-timer for Schaumlaufel. Pirates go up one, 11-10. This quick reaction there from Schaumlaufel. Good pass from Odo. Fernandez able to play it off the block, sent wide, tied at 11. Turn those Natalie. hands in. Natalie Fernandez leads the team and kills this season. Just a freshman. Again, we mentioned this is a very young Corsairs team. Very few sophomores. But they have picked up where they left off a year ago. Robarts gives up the free ball. Back set, Barron's on the slide. Ibbotson trying to keep oh. it alive and nearly does. Great adjustment that time on the block. They saw the slide, they reacted to it accordingly. And this nearly a terrific effort from the Pirates to get that ball back over, but Ibbotson just a little short. Good receive from Rogelio, sets up Barron's in the middle. Well, when you're in system, you can do things like this. Barron's rears back, fires. 12 all. They try to answer back in the, in the middle, it's still up. Oh. And Fernandez gets the finish off the block. Well, we saw the Pirates go to their leading attacker all season long, Caleb Murdoch, and now the Corsairs responding in kind as they are getting behind Natalie Fernandez here in set number three. And she has the Corsairs up one. Murdoch leans into it, able to play it off the block of Nixa, Fernandez, and Odell, and power that one through. Tied at 13. Rogelio has been effective on serve all night with another chance here. Fierro looking for Paulson. What a dig. Rogelio digs it out. Murdoch gets it down off the hands of Boric. Watch his step close here from Murdoch. And she just rears back into it and fires. Pirates up one, 14-13. Paulson, Rogelio there. Scrambling, Morrison does keep it alive. Chance for the Corsairs, Nixa. Schaumlaufel with the up. Now Murdoch, Odell with oh. the dig. Back to Murdoch, still alive. How's it going out? One more time, Murdoch takes a little off. Fierro there. What a battle. Off the net, and this one gonna go to the Pirates. Back and forth, both teams with chances. Big point for the Pirates. They step out to a two-point lead, timeout on the floor. Pirates leading in set number three. They lead it two sets to none here on the VC Sports Network.
Pirates off of one of the lengthier points of the night. Step out to a two-point lead. 15-13. As head coach Christian Camayo wants to talk things over on the Santa Monica sideline. Corsairs with their backs against the wall. They're down two sets to none. Fierro looking for Nixon in the middle. Another dig for Rogelio. Murdoch off the block, slows it down enough for Boric. Fernandez, it's wide. 16-13. We talked about Murdoch stepping up here in set number three, but how about Rogelio in the back row? Leading that back row all season long. Sensational sophomore libero. The leader in digs per set for most of this season. Boric with a little trouble on the pass. Chance for the Pirates. They'll go middle with Morrison. Paulson off the block, but Schaumlaufel there. Murdoch leaning right. Now it's Fernandez with a chance up the line and wide. Great discipline for the Pirates here on the last couple of attacks from Fernandez. And Fernandez may be looking to play that off the block somewhat, but instead missing wide. How about Ibbotson? Laying off there, just terrific job, great read. 17-13. Great response for the Pirates after this one was tied at 13. They'll try Paulson now on the left side, but the whistle comes in, and the point goes to the Pirates on the double tap. Yeah, you see the ball moving there, rotating. That's a relatively easy call for the refs. 18-13. Rogelio, as she has done a couple of times already tonight, on serve for another Pirate run. Tough. Goes to Boric again. Great bump set. Fernandez, Morrison keeps it alive. Free ball for the Corsairs. Nixa goes to the push. It's still alive. Johnson, quick set for Morrison, who couldn't quite get all of it. I like the distribution there. I just don't think Morrison was ready. You got Murdoch wide open in system. You got to give it to the stud. 18-14. Natalie Fernandez will serve. And Murdoch sends that one out of play. 18-15. Fernandez gets the ace. Fernandez went on a run earlier in this set. And let's watch this ball. When, as it comes over, there's a ton of movement here. And I wonder if you're Venturi, do you think about maybe a timeout if she scores another point? Look at the movement on that ball. But Schaumlaufel handles it. Murdoch forced to go for the push. Chance for Boric off the block. Nixa able to keep it alive. Another dig for Rogelio. Murdoch steps That's in it. and tools the block. Kayla Murdoch with a big third set. 19-15. Great swing from Kayla. And Murdoch with the score. Back to a four-point lead for the Pirates. Nixa. Nice pass. Rogelio digs it out. Murdoch again able to play the block. Oh, no. Looked like that went off the block, but call come in here. That never go over. Looks like there's a touch right there. So the point goes to the Corsairs. They're saying that there was no touch and that ball went wide. Yeah, you know, I believe on, it was on the call on the floor. Yeah, we have. We have a few angles on it. I think that's the correct call. Ibbotson. Big swing. Beautiful dig from Boric. Paulson off the block. Pirates get the point, 20 to 16. Watch here again. Morrison, Morrison late getting there, but right on the money. Hands perfectly placed. Not a bad serve either. 
Johnson will go to Ibbotson, tries the dink. Murdoch keeps it alive. Chance now for the Pirates. Bump said this is going to be a joust ball that the Corsairs are going to get to first. Ibbotson unable to come up with the dig, 20 to 17. Corsairs within three. Mia Paulson will serve. Ibbotson. Fernandez moving to the back row. Now Stanton. Nice pass. Dug out by Murdoch. Sean Lawful. Rogelio lays out but can't get to it. Zara Stanton gets the kill, 20 to 18. And Brad Lyons going to take a timeout on the Ventura sideline. The Pirates up two sets to none, trying to close it out. They lead it by two on the VC Sports Network. Twenty to eighteen in favor of the Pirates, leading at two sets to none. Well, Jeff, I think it's incredibly important important that Ventura close things out here in straight sets. We saw how resilient Santa Monica was on Tuesday. The comeback win in five versus Cypress on the road. I think if you give them any type of momentum, this could easily go to a fifth set. Ibbotson. With the dink, it's still alive. Schaumlaufel sends it wide, but I believe the call already came in for a lift. Yeah, before the swing from Schaumlaufel, which was long anyway. Well, they needed a quick side out. They didn't get it. 20 to 19. They've got Schaumlaufel, Rogelio, and Murdoch in that back row. Paulson readies the serve. Johnson. We'll look for Sean Waffle, forced to go to the dink. Paulson with the up, Stanton. Murdoch just outside the 10-foot line. The pancake from Fernandez, but can't keep it alive. Murdoch takes advantage of the tape. That's a huge point for the Pirates. 21-19. They're all so big now, Michael. Four points away from a trip to Mount Sac. Go to the middle, Riva redirects and gets the kill. Not much chance for Johnson. Good job on serve receive for the Corsairs in system. And Riva with the kill, back to a one point game. Boric will serve. Great pass. Ibbotson. Goes after Paulson, who can't get the up. 22-20. She's been so good here, Jeff. Ibbotson has really had the hot hand. Her along with Murdoch has really been the difference here. And as she did in set number two, she'll try to close it out here. Pirates need three more. Oh. Barons with the rejection. The roof from Talia Barons. 23-20. Not on my watch. Parents. Could that be the moment that propels the Pirates? Trouble on the pass. 
And Stanton catches the tape, and now the Pirates arrive at match point. Timeout, Santa Monica, Ventura, one point away. Match point for the Pirates with Kylie Ibbotson to serve. And last season, a magical run for the Pirates that finished with so much disappointment losing Nevada Knowles and falling one step short. Are the Pirates prepared to possibly take that step right here off the block? Fernandez, dig for Murdoch, Schaumwaffel. Paul's oh. in a little trouble. Stanton, Rogelio with the dig. Quick set. Barron's trying to finish it. Pirates still on the attack. Barron's on the slide, off the block, and the Pirates are on their way to Mount Sack. Let's go back and look at the final point and the final attack. A move that has worked for the Pirates all year. And that is going to middle blocker Talia Behrens on the slide. And Fernandez just a fraction of a second late. Getting over there, Behrens able to tool the block and Michael, uh, you know, a season ago this was a team uh, that appeared to have all the tools, all the talent to make that trip to the championship. They seemed on their way, the number one seed. And again, as we've talked about a lot, uh, what happened is well known to Pirate fans and falling one step short. You just had the feeling right from the outset this year that this was a team that returned an awful lot of talent uh, and was poised to take this step you know that was the goal uh, all season long, to, to take that step, and they did it here tonight. It's got to be a sa satisfying moment for that man right there, Brad Lyons, sharing a moment with athletic director Jimmy Walker and what Brad Lyons has been able to do for this program uh, really uh, cannot be overestimated or overstated. Uh, coming in here, two wins in his first season at the helm here. For Ventura and now one of the power programs in the state and they'll have a chance uh, next weekend to see if they can take this even further. Uh, they will go Grossmont, San Diego Mesa already in. We'll get a quick update. Orange Coast, did they close out the fifth set? But the Pirates figure to be the two seed and no, Irvine Valley. So maybe that was an incorrect score that maybe we have. Maybe a scoring error. Yeah, because Irvine Valley won the fifth set 15-9, so perhaps it was the Lasers that were up, not the Pirates. Either way, uh, after a very topsy-turvy bracket a year ago that saw only one of the top four seeds go from the South to the championship, this year uh, it's going to be straight chalk uh, in the South as the top four seeds all go through Grossmont, San Diego Mesa, Irvine Valley, and right here, the Ventura College Pirates and uh, Michael, any uh, final thoughts from you? 
Jeff, they have a loaded squad and a great libero. And Ashley Johnson really put her hitters and attackers in position to succeed. It's a team that, like you said, has the tools, has the talent. They are poised for a deep run. We're going to see them next week at Mount Sac. Congrats to Santa Monica on a terrific season, but the Pirates move on. They do it in three, 25-21, 25-22, 25-20. And an update from Mount Sac. Mount Sac ahead 48-45, to has just given up the go-ahead touchdown to Riverside. Should this lead hold for the Tigers? Ventura next week would host here at the VC Sports Complex. We'll have that coverage for you, but it's not over yet. 27 seconds as they tack on the extra point. We will wrap up our coverage here tonight from Ventura as the Pirates with the victory here tonight on their way to the State 8, the championships next week at Mount San Antonio College. We'll have that for you at SoCalCollegeSports.com. We hope you will join us uh, for that. Uh, should be a fantastic weekend of action. And we'll cha uh, I should say we'll crown a 2023 champion. But for tonight, the Pirates moving on as they punch their ticket. For everybody here at SoCalCollegeSports.com and the VC Sports Network, thanks so much for joining us. So long, everybody. We'll see you next week.